Oh, so quick vlog. We just we just finished watching Power Rangers. Yeah, we did. And this is a thing about which we have no small amount of feelings. I mean, you especially, I think. Yeah, I mean, uh, I, what Power Rangers came? I think when I was five. So I more or less have had Power Rangers as a part of my entire life mm -hmm. for all intents and purposes. You're the one that got me back into it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, With, I mean, uh, the history of the Power Rangers. Link in the show notes. Yeah, Linkara is is the the one there who did the <laughs> the lion's share of the work. <laughs> Yeah, I dig the Breakfast Club vibe, and I dig that they didn't, like, over-sexualize a bunch of people who are supposed to be teenagers. Yeah. Yeah, uh, so I didn't have any real expectations coming into it, and I have mm -hmm. to say, like, it was dumb, it was over-the-top, it was corny, but, are I, true. but I enjoyed the hell out of the ride. Um, I think because, because I give permission to it to be dumb because it's based on a really silly show Fair. and it's all over the top. Like I know some people think that the, the tone difference that the, you know, like the villain has versus the Rangers, you know, mm -hmm. like there's a little bit of a, a discrepancy there in tone, but for some reason it works for me because the series was so weird and off kilter mm -hmm. and that's not because it was based on Japanese footage. I think it was just... It was weird. Yeah, it's weird. And it had a lot of good feels. And the movie, I think, had a lot of good feels. Yeah. So. I I marked out pretty hard for uh, its morphin time. Yeah, they had like, that. I was I was waiting for it. They, they, they spent a long time getting up to it, I think, too much time. Yeah. I mean, there was a training non-montage. Yeah. But Brian Cranston is, is the worst mentor in the universe. <laughs> no, no, not Brian Cranston. Zordon is. <laughs> that too. Brian, Brian. Brian Cranston's okay in my books. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else was there? Like, I was worried that they were going to have that stupid branding go go in there. They didn't, thankfully. Like, they didn't at any point say they did. No, no, they they. Well, I mean, like, they're, it was like go, let's go Rangers or something like that. But they didn't like go go like in the way the the trailers had it. I didn't watch the trailers. Go and then like go because that's been a branding since. Oh, Ranger okay. Samurai. Well, that's probably for the best then. Yeah. Yeah. They had the, the song was in there, like the original, well, like a rebound. I'm interested in, so so they, they did a bunch of different stuff with the Rangers this time. So uh, Billy, for instance, is on the autism spectrum mm -hmm. and, and talks about it. Mm -hmm. And I'm interested to sort of, I don't have an idea of how they treat that in the movie. Like I, I'm at, not being on the spectrum or, or like being at any, in, in, in any way an expert on it. Yeah. Um, I'm wondering how, how it winds up getting treated. It's interesting to me that it comes up that one time and we see, we see sort of, sort of, um, neuro, neurodiverse behaviors that I think, um, neurotypical people would code as spectrum type behaviors. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, Billy is, Billy is the brave, like, like, like it's sort of showcased as the bravest ranger. And uh, not just the bravest, but also, and I guess maybe it is tied up with bravery. The one with the mm -hmm. most heart, too. Yeah. Like, yeah. Jason's got the loyalty, but Billy ends up being the one with the biggest heart. Yeah. Like, he's the one who morphs first because of his heart. Mm -hmm. So, I did like um, when Billy was trying to explain it to Jason. And rather than kind of talking down to the audience... There was that moment where Jason's like, no, no, it's okay, I get it. You don't have to explain it to me. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and I, it's cool. And now, granted, he walks away. Like, he uses that as a chance to, to get out of the yeah, conversation. But right? but it, it doesn't treat the audience like an idiot and try to explain it or mm -hmm. basically mansplain it to yeah. us. So that was kind of nice. He spent a whole movie on that. People have tried. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. The the Queer Ranger thing was interesting, but it did, like she got the least amount of time. Yeah. So... I mean, nothing really came of it beyond a conver the the conversation was really good though, in the sense that I understand that conversation and having that conversation, mm -hmm. and I think that that in its that in itself is interesting to me. Like if you are if you are a queer teen in a particular situation, you're gonna you're gonna listen to that those lines and go, yep, yep, it me. And that to me is really cool. Uh, I'm glad they didn't try and like sensationalize it or over sexualize it. Again, these are supposed to be teenagers. Yeah. Yeah. We, when we were uh, talking during the credit scene, we figured they're probably somewhere grade 11, grade 12. Like at least Jason seems to be a, a grade 12 kind of guy. And, but mm -hmm. there's no, like, they don't necessarily all have to be in the same grade. So, yeah. Uh, That's neat. What else? Good times. Good yeah. feels. 
It was like I enjoyed it. I I am not disappointed by it. I it's it's not a good movie, but like any stretch of the imagination, it's not good. Um, you know, like shaky camera work. You were talking about how the music direction was oh, god awful. Every one song every thirty seconds. Uh, I was strangely bothered by the the really quick contrast between dark scene and light scene. Like my, I was like, oh man, it hurts my eyes. <laughs> like there's a lot of a lot of that, and uh, just yeah, some having to condense a thirty minute or twenty three minute episode into. You know, a, a stretch it out for a whole movie, but make it still feel natural uh, was was a little bit of a challenge. Mm -hmm. You know, having the training non montage, as you said, them trying to figure out their powers. So it's it's kind of weird. I, I think I think I've just been spoiled by Netflix and having like a thirteen episode arc to have everything work out and have it <laughs> properly paced out. But um, I enjoyed it. Oh yeah, totally. Like the plotting is weird. Um, the costuming is weird. There's probably. Uh, some interesting lamp shading going on with Rita and how, like, o original Rita is Korean. Oh, you're talking about the Sentai series? Yeah. Oh, okay. I was going to um, say, no, they were all pretty, They it was pretty clear they were aliens. Yeah. <laughs> Originally. But, but. Uh, yeah, and the idea of Rita being a, an, an, an OG ranger is kind of interesting. Yeah, I think the this fan speculation spoiled that for me. I, I kind of saw that coming. Yeah, I didn't know. Didn't I? I didn't read any of that. Um, but yeah, the idea that that they were once Power Rangers themselves is interesting. And I and and I am hopeful. Like the thing that I dig about it is the lar the, the sort of larger mythology and the bits that you get to make up and yeah. the head cannon that goes along with it. And yeah, they brought the Zeo crystals. And in I'm hope I am hopeful that this this sort of spawns a new mythology for that. Yeah. And the opportunity to sort of recreate some of that stuff. Mm -hmm. So yeah, good times. If you're into it, go see it. If you like, if you're the kind of person who like watched a ton of it on Twitch, and like marks out hard for Power Rangers, hundred um, percent. If you're not, eh, nah. we're not movie review people though. <laughs> Stay awesome. Stay awesome. It's morphin' time.